Let's say we have this circle inscribed inside of a square, and we want to find the area of the shaded region. And all we're told is that this side length right here of the square is 10 inches. How can we find the area of the shaded region? Well, the three-step process we can use is step one, find the area of the square. Step two, find the area of the circle. And step three, simply subtract the area of the circle from the area of the square. Because then we'll just be left with the area of the shaded region. So let's do that. So we'll say step one, the area of the square. So we're told this side is 10 inches. And one thing we know about a square is that all of the sides have equal length. So this side must also be 10 inches. So let's write that 10. And to find the area of a square, we simply multiply one side by another side. So 10 times 10. So let's write the area of the square is simply equal to 10 times 10, which is 100. And if we want, we can write inches squared. So that's the area of the square. Next, let's find the area of the circle. So the formula to find the area of a circle is pi r squared, where r is the radius. So when we're told that this side length of the square is 10, we could also say that this length across the circle right here is 10. And the length across a circle is simply the diameter. And if we know the diameter, the radius is simply half the diameter. So that's the distance from here to here. So half of 10 would be 5. So the radius of the circle must be 5. So we can plug that in for r right here. So let's say the area of the circle is simply equal to pi times 5 squared. 5 squared is 25, so we can write this as 25 pi. And if we want, we can say inches squared. Now the very last step is simply subtract this area of the circle from the area of the square. So let's write that. So we get 100 minus 25 pi. And remember, pi is just some number, like 3.1415, on and on and on. So if you punch 100 minus 25 pi into a calculator, you get about 21.46. And remember, our unit is inches, so we'll say inches squared, since we're talking about area. So that is our final answer. That is the area of this shaded region.